I'm at my newest listing here at Judy. It is a brand new remodeled house. Uh, exterior paint, roof, interior paint, appliances, flooring, LVP carpet, everything's brand new. Um, in fact, we even just changed the locks. Those are all key to like and brand new as well. So um, awesome opportunity. We're gonna go inside and go ahead and get started. So right here up front, you can see the garage right here. You do have a double door garage. Uh, most of your larger vehicles will fit in here. You do have automatic garage door openers and they do come with the clickers. Do have a uh, heat source out here as well. Concrete slab in pretty phenomenal condition and you even have a drain for all that snow melt. And you have additional room along the back since all the utilities are in a separate area for a workbench or some kind of tool storage. One, you come in the side door here, you enter into the laundry room. This is where your boiler's located at. This is also where the washer and dryer are at, as well as some storage for your detergents. There is a uh, new flooring in here as well, and this is going to be a theme throughout the house. Uh, coming up here, this is the upstairs to split by level. There's an upstairs and a downstairs here. Total square footage is a little bit more than 2,000 square feet, pretty much 1,000 on each floor. Right here is the living room. The camera makes it look a little bit smaller, but this is a pretty large living room area. You're looking at about 20 feet by about 10 to 15 feet or so. Um, double wall construction. This is a pretty great feature in here if you're talking about saving money on heat. The wall is thicker than my hand, so that is a good 10 or so inches of insulation in the walls here. Just in case you want to save on some heating oil even more, you do have a uh, nice pellet stove here that can offset your heating costs. And then a dining room over here. That leads into your kitchen that also has brand new appliances and flooring. You can see the brand new microwave was installed last week, oven, refrigerator, and dishwasher. And then you have lots of countertop space for all your storage. And on the back side here, you have a pantry with a little bit more storage up top. Tongue and groove ceiling in the uh, main living area, and it looks phenomenal. Carpet was just installed last week as well. Upstairs bathroom. This one is a Jack and Jill, which means you can access the master bedroom here. You do have a toilet, shower, tub combo, and a vanity. Everything nice and clean, bright lights. Over here in the master, you can see a pretty decent sized room here. You can easily fit a king size bed. You do have a full closet. And then uh, nice vinyl windows here overlooking the backyard. In the backyard, you do have a septic system and lots of planter boxes if you're into gardening. Master bedroom does have a ceiling fan. Across the hallway here, you have another room with another ceiling fan. This one's also a pretty decent size. A little bit smaller than the master because you're losing a little bit of that wall space there. This one has a walk-in closet, so you can walk all the way in here, hang your clothes here, and then a cutout because the stairs going downstairs are right here beneath me. That concludes the upstairs. Let's go ahead and head downstairs. As you can see, the flooring is the same in the bathroom and the kitchen. Out here, you have two coat closets for all your winter gear. And then heading downstairs, again, same carpet. Everything's nice and new. The bathroom has the same flooring as upstairs. You can see the nice vanity here, new toilet there, and a shower uh, back over there. Underneath the stairs, you have some storage. You also have your hot water heater in here. So a nice little area just took away some of that stuff that you don't need to use on the daily. Continuing around over here, you have a laundry room slash storage room. Uh, this is just a bonus area down here. No real intended purpose for it. Could be used as a bedroom. Off to the side over here, you have another den or study. Um, can also be used as a bedroom. However, these windows are technically not egressible. That's why we're not including that in the four bedroom count. You do have baseboard heat down here, brand new carpet, and um, a nice large opening here. Bonus room or secondary living room, kids playroom, gear room, or some sort of hobby room over here. You do have drop tile ceiling down here, and uh, you can see the windows there looking out on the driveway. All right, we've already peeked in the bathroom. So at the end of the hallway here are the last two formal bedrooms. 
nice large vinyl windows, totally aggressible, nice large closet, and a very large size bedroom down here as well. So the seller did a good job remodeling this place, pretty much took everything down to the bare minimum and redid everything. Recessed lighting in here, another vinyl window, baseboard, heat, brand new carpet, and a closet here as well. So the entire house has been completely redone. The only thing that's pretty much original is the bones of the place. Let me know what you think. That concludes our tour. I want to give you another little shot of the backyard so you can see the sun that you get. Pretty phenomenal property. Just hit the market at $379.9. Seller's super motivated, so bring on your offers and let me know if you have any questions about the details of this property. Have a great day. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah.